Okay, hi. And welcome back to another episode of Still Not K-Pop with Still Not David. And basically, what happens today is you'll be listening to a very biased guy talk about very biased things about K-Pop. But of course, before we start, I want to tell you guys about this new channel called Awesomeness TV. Because we all know that choosing a profile picture is super stressful. Should we have an Instagram filter or should we, should we have a group shot or a solo shot? There's so many options to choose from. But it's okay because I found this video. What you would do as your profile picture. See, well, I like to show my dimple, so I like turn to the side. I feel so awkward now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Like yeah. yeah. It's like, like you take a million, all. and there's always like just maybe one. It's from this new show called I Am O. It's advice on dating, friends, fashion, texting, and all that good stuff. So click here to watch the entire episode. Be sure to subscribe to them because they have a new episode of I Am O every morning. All right, now back to K-pop. So the first important news of this week is that I am wearing a red shirt, and uh, some people tell me that I look good in red, but I wholeheartedly disagree because it makes my red lips that are already really red look even more red, and that's a problem. And hey, that's not news. Let me start the show today. Okay, fine, bye. bye. Oh, is it, is it rolling? Oh, okay. Okay, hi. Okay, so l last week we had Tiara's Day by Day Part 1 music video. And this week we have the uh, release the, 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 the dance version, but no, no Part 2 yet. And uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not very happy about that. So I think the dance version was supposed to satisfy our thirst for the next part, but all it really did was make me mad. I mean, first of all, the entire first minute is them talking to the camera, which is fine and all, but personally, I'm not a really big fan of a group of Korean girls talking to a camera, squealing and being loud and stuff. Another thing that made me very, very angry was the editing. Whoever edited that music video needs some serious help, because jump cuts that literally last one second each does not make the music video any more interesting than it already isn't. It gives people headaches and it annoys people not to mention you don't get to see anybody clearly because they disappear within half a second anyways another thing I want to trash talk about is that this song does not need a dance the bad choreography makes the song look so silly and it's such a good song too which is why it makes me so angry they honestly should just stand there and sing the song because it is not working out now on the bright side Jiyeon was hot as another music video that we anticipated last week was Wonder Girls like money with Akon I don't and know what the hell you're talking about. I was not anticipating that at all. You're just mean. I think it's cool. They're like androids and, and stuff. Like, I honestly have no idea how the Wonder Girls went from I want nobody, nobody but you to I love you like money, I love you like cars. How does that even work out? How do you transition from that to that? It was like, yeah, we came to America and uh, Americans, uh, they love money and they're very superficial. So let's go ahead and blend in. I don't think JYP Entertainment understands this, but uh, America is not going to be starstruck by a group of five Korean girls dancing and singing around in like broken English that's not what impresses America we're not open-minded enough to, to like that kind of stuff so that's why I wish they would have just focused on the Korean market but what's done is done and it's too late to go back no actually it's not too late please do come back and lastly we have uh, Woo Young's solo debut for his song Sexy Lady it's a nice electronic popish song with some but the, the hook's okay it's, it's nothing it's nothing amazing I think Alright, so I gotta say this is a lot better than Joe Kwan's I'm the one. I don't think I got any of the melodies right so far. But it's nothing amazing, at least not to me. I just wanna know why guys wear so much eyeliner when they bleach their hair blonde. Isn't it like kinda obvious that, like doesn't it stand out so much when your hair is like so bright and your eyes are so dark? Like I thought the concept of the video was to be manly and sexy and cool. Is that what eyeliner does for us nowadays? Do I need to invest in some eyeliner to look cool? Wow, I am a hater today. I'm on a roll of hating. Alright, so it's time to take a little quick break from new releases to start talking about things that don't actually matter but are still interesting to know about. Girls' Generation member Yuna is a baller. For the first half of 2012, she was reported to have earned 3.5 million US dollars. That's a lot of dollars. So for all you guys who think that Korean celebrities still only make like 3 cents per album, yeah, that might be still true for some of them, but... Yuna is an exception. And to be honest, she ain't even all that. So this week's eye candy will be focused on Yuri, who recently had a commercial for Mamande's new uh, BB cream and other facial products. So here are some photos for you guys to calm down for all those of you who are raging with me or at me for being a hater. And if you look hard enough, you can probably find the annotations to the links to the commercials that are hidden somewhere around my face because the portal was down today. I don't know why. She's looking good, but she's still not making 3.5 million. 
Players Entertainment has recently confirmed that the new leader of After School since Kai graduated will be given to Jung Ra, which is great and I'm happy for her and she deserves it and all because she's been in there for such a long time. But I honestly think Nana should be the leader. I don't know if it's just me being biased and I'm pretty good at being biased, but I feel like she just stands out more than everybody in that band. But then again, Jung Ra has been there for a really long time and she's the oldest, so I suppose she deserves it. Plus, being the center of attention doesn't necessarily mean that you're the leader, with the clear example being Yuna from S. NSD. She ain't no leader, but she's still making 3.5 million dollars out here. And lastly, for any of you guys who have a Twitter account, G Dragon just recently opened a Twitter. And if you guys love him, you should go ahead and follow him. And while you're at it, you should follow me too. You know, I'm just throwing that out there. You don't have to. And then this week, we also have two new music videos from Newest and Ajax called Action and Hot Game, respectively. Unfortunately, I will not be talking about them too much since I am running short on time. And also, I don't really care about these new boy bands because they all act and look and sound the same to me. Yeah, super biased. You are watching the most biased K-pop news show on the internet. Although the Ajax one does feature Kata's Nicole. EP also has a new teaser for this song, No Mercy. And for those of you guys who are screaming, Bias! Bias! You are biased! against boy bands no that's not true because there's a new girl group called Tahiti and they also have a teaser for their song called tonight and I am also not interested in them either so there there you go in your face I'm not biased well I am biased but not against guys or girls I'm not sexist but guys what I am interested in today is the comeback of our boys from Beast which also happens to be the thumbnail story of the week they are making a comeback for their new mini album called Midnight Sun and there's a teaser of showing them walking around in their new looks and I have to admit that it's so fruity that I could die but they pre-released their new song called Midnight and it is the Bomb. So for those of you guys who haven't listened to it yet, obviously I cannot link you to the mp3 because I'm a professional. But you can look for it yourself and leave it on repeat for hours and hours like I did and still not get sick of it because the song is so freaking good. No, 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 it is seriously so good and Beast is the best. Let me get an amen. No, okay. Okay, and lastly, for those of you guys who wanted to get your hands on the new Big Bang Still Live album from last time, it is still not too late. Since a lot of people seem to want the city, I'm gonna leave it up for grabs for another week or so. So if you didn't comment last time or you want to comment again for another chance, so what is the question of the week, you may ask? The question of the week is what do you think about Beast's new song, Midnight? You can also say, David, I am too lazy to look up that song and I don't really care for Beast, but I do want that CD. Thanks. That works too. So yeah, I will see you guys next time for the drawing. Okay, bye.